Ugh, the silly kids and their games. Aha, but I already have the first one. And I pretty much already know where all these kids are, so no worries. No one's back here. I'm coming to get you. Oh, look. There's number two. But, or number one, since it says on the back. But look, another creeper. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. No, no, you're not. You know, hiding behind a pole like that in the middle of the night. Not creepy at all. Um, anyway, that guy's Saikon. And, interesting fact, uh, the first time you actually see him, or the same looking guy in Hyrule is in the marketplace. And if you actually talk to him, he says something like, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. More evidence that somebody really loves Alice in Wonderland. Who makes these Zelda games, so. Oh no, I can't believe I hurt that Coco. You do not hurt the chickens in Zelda games. They will hunt you down and eat your babies. No, really, it's like bad luck to do that, so. They would go behind this guard here. Oh my god. Well, I... Dang it. I didn't want to really do this, because this is kind of a cheat, but I'm thinking maybe I could, like, sneak behind the guard and maybe catch the... No! No! <laughs> I didn't mean to do this. Well, anyway. I'm free! Ah! <laughs> Actually, this is kind of creepy, because I'm just a poor little innocent Deku scrub with no weaponry on me, so it's kind of... It, actually, Termina Field is really lonely to me. So the only reason I'd really want to come out here during the first three days was just to grind for rupees. So why not? <laughs> There's some bushes here. Um, the only reason you'd want to come out here is if you wanted to, uh, you know, hack the game and... Or, well, not hack the game, but cheat the game and do some stuff before you're actually supposed to. But the way that I actually got out here was I, uh... Pressed Z, and I uh, faced toward the town and backed up. And eventually you get past the guard. And I think that's the only gate that you can do that in. But I'm not really sure. I haven't tried any others. This is actually the first time that you're ever seeing me play this game. Like, since I said eight years ago. So everything I'm doing is just me experiencing it for the first time. Let's not hurt the chicken again. Alright, come here, you little brat. I mean, let's be friends. I want to play. Oh, yeah, wait. Where did he go? Did you go through the wall? Or maybe he just went behind that mailbox. Okay, yeah, he went behind the mailbox. Like, seriously, he just went through the wall. Come here! Ah! Alright. Oh, okay, yeah. You come to me. I just stood still there. <laughs> I wasn't about to go on those stairs again. Anyway, the second one's on the roof here, and you have to use the, uh, the flower here. And... If I get lucky, I can maybe, like, trap him over here behind the bell? Of course not. And I think if you actually shoot them with bubbles, they'll, like, fall on their butt and slow down a little bit. But he's kind of moving too fast. Come here, bubble feet! <laughs> ah, and trap him in the corner. Yeah! There we go. One left. Their little bubble steps are not as cute as our little Linky Poo and his cute little Deku squishy steps. He's so adorable. Oh. <laughs> Look at those guys over there, all sad, like, meh, we got caught. Alright, so the, uh, the fifth and final kid is over here being all lonely by himself. The lone wolf kid. And it's okay, because we haven't been here yet. And this is, uh, West Clock Town? Yes, it is. It's West Clock Town. There should be music playing. Oh, there it is, okay. It just started a little slow there. But here he is! Yeah, you are no problem at all. You must be the slow kid. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. Only you were human. You being racist on me now? Hmm? Hmm? Don't even get the bomber's notebook? No way! No scrubs! No, they don't want no scrubs. Scrub is the kind of guy get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. And no, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. And, okay, I was just kidding. I really need the code. Please. Yes, I'm ready. Two, three, four, five, one. Are you serious? All right, two, three, four, five, one. No, wait, that is a, a terrible excuse for a code. <laughs> I was all ready to write it down and everything. Now that is something an idiot would put on his luggage. Am I right? Eh? Am I right? <laughs> I can't believe how ridiculous that code is. Well, anyway, we have to talk to their little friend here. And give him the ridiculously easy code. <laughs> 
Alright, I don't know why I have to give him this code because, I mean, didn't he see me chasing his friends around? My goodness. Well, I guess he didn't know that I caught all of them, so. Oh, there's cool stuff at the telescope guy's place. Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever! They're trying to be so righteous in this town. Why are they being so racist against a poor little Deku scrub like me? Racism is not right, okay? It's just not. <laughs> I don't know, Deku scrubs, do they even count? <laughs> Whatever, they're pretty weird looking. Anyway, there's a spider lurking around here. Oh, there he is. I'm too smart for him. So, yeah, it's really shallow there, and that's why you can walk. Alright, look at this. More evidence of that creepy skull kid in his Majora's mask. What can I say? The kid likes to party. He likes to leave balloons in his wake. <laughs> I guess he'd probably be pretty cool if he didn't have that mask. That precious mask. Making him evil and psychotic. Alright, we've made it to the observatory! What's this? Pots? Let's break them! <laughs> so y'all know how much Link loves to destroy private property. Wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, three days! Oh no! Eh, it's only the first night. It's not a big deal. I noticed there are a bunch of clocks around Clock Town. Imagine that, with the whole premise of the game being, you know, the three days and the counting down of time. We're impending doom. Yo, hey baby! What's up, Scarecrow? I like this guy. He's awesome. He likes to dance. But we shall not dance right now, no. I'm sorry. That only speeds up time, um, which we will do later. And I can't learn the song right now because that's not really relevant. Later, though. I love this rainbow staircase. It's awesome. And it's just, you know, more evidence that the designers of this game were definitely on drugs. I swear they were stressed out because they didn't have a lot of time to develop this, so they had to turn to something. Alright, what's this? That is one of the lunar rocks that's been blazing from the surface of the moon lately. They fall from what looks like to be the moon's eye, so I call them moon steers. They're very rare stones, valued by many. Alright. That's a weird angle. Alright. Uh, you a new friend of the bomber's gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those of the mischievous friend from the other day. Humph, humph, humph. What kind of laugh is that? I guess an old person laugh. I don't know. Old people are crazy. Who said he'd steal my moon's tear? There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Are you gazing to the telescope? Sure, man. Sounds fun. He's like teaching people to be creepers. It's like Creeper 101. You have to have like binoculars or a telescope or something <laughs> to spy on people, right? Okay, I see a one of those Skultilla kids from Ocarina of Time. And Dawn of the Second Day! Wow, I, I've actually never looked in this telescope during the like the morning like this. I've only seen it at night. But we're supposed to be looking up here. Oh no, it's the Skull Kid! I see somebody stayed up all night partying on the tower. Eh? Eh? moon? He looks so evil. Why is he crying? I'm actually, I'm gonna explain that, what I think that means, but hey, don't you smack your butt at me. It's just like the baboon and Twilight Princess in the forest temple. <laughs> at least his butt isn't all red and jiggly like the monkeys. Alright, so there's the moon's tear. I guess the moon's sad. Oh man, this guy. Does anybody else think that this guy looks particularly more Asian than the rest of the characters in this game? Like, most of them look more, like, white, but he just looks Asian to me. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Well, anyway, off to the moon's tier. I just wanted to explain that a little bit. Um, I think it kind of has a significant meaning that most people would, like, just look over. Um, it's because, you know, he is sad, you know? He's crying, and he's done this more than once over the past few days. And, um, I think it means that perhaps it's not really the moon that wants to kill and destroy the world, no matter how sadistic and crazy his smile is. Ugh. I think it's, um, you know, more the mask's fault. Not even the Skull Kid. It's the mask that's doing everything and causing everybody to be crazy and horrible and all this impending doom is because of the mask. I think the moon just isn't 
really want anything to do with it, but he's forcing... He's being forced to fall upon the world. So yeah, that's just what I think, but you know. Alrighty, so since we have the moons here... Oh look, there's another clock right there. I just want to point that out. But um, since we have this uh, lovely moons tier, we get to start on our first trade sequence of the game. Oh look, it's raining. I forgot about that. It rains every second day in the game. That's something good to remember. But I like the trade sequences a lot. Um, I'm gonna start that after I go play the Deku Scrub game, just because I only have, you know, this one day to do it. Um, but that's a huge reason that I love this game. It's because it, it really focuses on side quests and getting to know the characters and interacting with people. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm a girl and I like doing all that stuff more than, you know, focusing on the boss battles and, you know, brushing up on fighting skills and everything, but meh. That's the reason I just really love this game. And all these little, like, games and everything. It's so much fun. Yes, young Linky Poo wants to try to set a new record. And I have plenty of rupees this time. So, all right. From what I remember, I think that this one is really hard. <laughs> like, from from what I remember seeing of people play this game, so. Let's see. Oh, it's the ones that move. It's not the ones that go up and down. <laughs> um, I have no strategy. <laughs> oh, crap. That would happen. Meh. I'm not really surprised, though. I didn't get to practice or anything, so. Hey, hey. One of you talk to me. <laughs> All right. So let's try again. I'm glad I have plenty of rupees, so that's good. And this, I'm, I'm bound to have to do this a few times, so hopefully not too many. Okay, let's at least land on this one. Sweet. And I remember a strategy from NCS's LP of this is to just jump up and then go straight down the row and it'll eventually come to you. Yay! I'm glad I remember that. I haven't watched the whole LP in a year, but I do remember seeing that like little strategy for this game. So I remember thinking, wow, I would probably suck hardcore at this game. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Meh. I hate that they say, that they always say too bad. Because that's what my grandma always said to me growing up. She'd be like, too bad. It really tick me off. Meh. Okay, I can do it this time. I can do it. I'm glad at least they don't start the timer until you pop out of the flower. So. I think I popped out of the flower at a very bad time though. Yep. I suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! No, wait. <laughs> I didn't mean to pause there. Anyway, that's three fails under my belt. Fourth time's the charm. Maybe. Why don't you talk to me? I swear. Okay, I'm gonna get it right this time, guys. I promise. <laughs> okay. So, my strategy is to get on this first one, on the most outer perimeter. And... Yes! Sweet! And then I'll just work my way in, I guess. And... Ah! This is not working! Okay, dude. <laughs> Good. That was just luck. That was just luck right there. I guess I'll go on the, on the inside here. These are pretty easy looking. And then you just go straight up. And then you don't even move. I remember that from NCS2. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, what do I have left? I have the blue one. And this green one. Yeah! Go, 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 go! There we go. Oh my gosh, one more. Awesome. Okay, please make it. Please make it. Yeah! I'm just gonna go for one of these middle ones. It's like a, a safety block or whatever. Okay. Go one more. Please don't let the time run out. <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. Big money. Yeah! I barely made that. And that took me literally all day. It was like 9 a.m. when I started this. In game time, obviously. Woo, purple ruby! 